everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all well. I have, as you have just seen, made myself a coffee, I've got my Nature Valley Protein Caramel Nut Bar thing. Katie is taking a little break from work, had her hummus and peppers, that's what she's had. I'm going to have some of them later. Um, but yeah, remember, before we get into the video, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and like the video if you do enjoy them. I am going to the gym at like half four today, so I'm going to quickly try and get the vid tonight's video uploaded, edited, all that sort of good stuff before I go. Sorry, it is edited. I just need to upload it and make the thumbnail before I go. Otherwise, it is only an hour session, but it might be a bit late and I don't want that. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'll catch you in a sec. And everyone, I am back from the gym. I have been back for quite a while now. Um, we are making tea. Pasta baked the night. Sorry, I did just feel like I was gonna like throw up, but it was like weird, not throw up, but just like something was coming up. But <laughs> yeah, we are weighing everything out. I have got the amount. We may do less, than, uh, more than 100 grams, because when you think that would only be 50 grams per portion, wouldn't it? Yeah, is it, is it done now? So, yeah, yeah, that's done. So we probably as well do more than 100 grams for cheese. We'll see what it looks like. But as always, when it's done anyways, I will put on the screen what I have had for my tea. And then we will just, again, what I'll do is I'll just save this as a meal. Apart from the protein powder, because that's not part of the meal. I will put that in my snacks. Um. But yeah, to me, the workout was absolutely like just brutal today. Um, it was like a really sickly slash gassy one. Um, oh, but yeah, we've just been watching Matt does fitness, enjoy his content, and he ordered a Papa John's, and Katie then confessed that on Friday she was hoping that I'd have caved, and I'd have turned around and went, oh, I just fancy getting the takeaway, and she would have been like, yeah, we'll get one. So, uh, maybe try 50 grams, put 50 grams more on, so then it'll be 75 grams each. But yeah, so I'm gonna let Katie do this, then I'm gonna go and do something else quickly. I'll finish watching this video. I don't know how long's left. Yeah, I'll finish watching that video, and then come back down ready for tea. And I'll obviously show you all that. I am excited for tea tonight now. I was anyways, so it's not like I'm not now. A few comments to go over. And, oh, sort my clothes out. That's another thing that I'm going to do tonight. I am actually going to do that as well. As much as I'm not, I am trying to be a lot more, like, active this week. I think this is the week where I sort of want to just try and get as much done. Um, I'm enjoying making the videos. I want to make the videos a lot longer. Um, obviously, the last video that went out, I haven't even promoted it on social media. So that's how bad I am. Um, really enjoyed, and it was 40 minutes long. But like when I was editing it, I was like, oh my, like I actually am enjoying editing this. Um, let's not delete that. But yeah, anyways, I will pick his back up in a bit. Right, and everyone, tea is ready. I'm so ready for this now. I am starving. It is actually quite late, to be fair. It's 10 to 7, which is quite late. Katie did get away from work a bit later, didn't you? Yes. Um, so, yeah, we are having pasta bake. Katie has already tucked in, but I will get around there for the shot, which looks ooh, lovely jubbly. <clears throat> you can see the calories and the macros will be on screen now for them. Um, or I might just, oh, do I just show you them? Because it is quite, it is a bit easier like that, actually, than the screenshots. Yeah, I will just show you them. Um... I do just prefer, just it's easier than screenshot and sending them all over to like the laptop and that. I know it sounds a bit lazy, but yeah, there it is there, 770 calories. Uh, the penne pasta, 100 grams, 240 grams of the cheese and pasta bake, and then 75 grams of cheese. So that is like half the, the big dish. It is a lot, but I do think if you had any less, like, for me, for example, like, I'll show you this. I'm still 850 calories left on my calories for the day. 
And I think sometimes it's like, oh, I'll not have that many because blah, blah, blah. And then next thing you know, you're not hitting your calories for the day. So that is one thing. Just try not to have, if you like, for example, try not to have too many cocks throughout the day. But more importantly, just make sure you try and hit your calories. That's what I'm going to try and do over the next few weeks. That's what a lot of people seem to say. So I will catch us after tea. Everyone, so tea is done. It is getting on so i'm gonna to have to have my snack now i've just made another clear whey protein shake gonna have some chocolate so i'm gonna weigh that all out get the calories all totaled up for the day and then go upstairs and sort my clothes out so i'll catch us upstairs and everyone saw the snack is done i am <clears throat> oh voice crack i'm gonna sort my clothes out now i am quite dreading this it shouldn't take too long because everything in there it's getting kept because that's like the nicest stuff that I've got but it is mainly like me boxes and socks that are the main issue like obviously just over lockdown buying so when we like we lived at Katie's over lockdown and then bit of a spot there but and then yeah like just over the years and I've got a lot of boxes that I just don't really need now socks sort of the same Um yeah just got an abundance and then like i said the other day just football shirts just a bit used to going to someone else really um but yeah my shorts and my joggers i'm going to keep until i can get new ones like that is one of the goals this year is just to get newer stuff when i can if i can but there is more important things to life than clothes so i am going to sort it out now and i want to be very happy with what i look back on get rid of um i'm not gonna like do a montage or anything for this process like, i'm just gonna sort of like i'm not gonna do like i'm gonna just like go through it get it done show you what i'm getting rid of i'll give you a quick before and after of the drawers i suppose so there's the box of shorts and socks drawer there like you can probably see like it doesn't really shut properly and the middle drawer which is the dream gym drawer not much will be going from here that's Fairly, I'm fairly content with my gym stuff. Again, until I get new gym things, I'll probably not actually go through that drawer. I might just give it a quick tidy up, either today or another time. Most of the stuff on there is obviously clothes that I wear that's ready to get put away. So, none of that will be going. And then it's just a football drawer. Not a football drawer, like the top drawer, but like... Look at that, like I don't wear most of these now, so I am just going to get rid of a lot of them. And I'll catch us. In a sec. Right everyone, so we are all sorted and ready to go. It looks a lot, obviously that bit there just looks the same and underneath looks the same. But the drawers look a lot tidier now. A lot less clamps and cramps. Like you say, I put them socks in there because they are more, they're more my everyday socks to be honest. Like the white socks, the black, like the sporty ones because I don't want to ruin me good black ones. That's why there is a lot getting thrown away because I just don't really wear them. Uh, like I don't wear like work socks. I wear tend just to wear white sporty ones. So if I do go straight from work to the gym, I'm not like changing me socks. I know some people might think that's scruffy, but yeah. So we've got socks in the middle. Then we've got like the me base layers and me like leg at them like shorts on that side, tops on that side, and then this one here is the mad one. Wow. I've not been able to do that since we moved in and there's a massive gap right in the middle so obviously boxes socks i'm gonna have to see if you can actually put them in charity bags if not i will just be throwing them away because they're not needed anymore then we have a pair of gym leggings that are just too small throwing them away another pair of like two in one ones they were like 40 quid them as well and um, more than about twice two times or something a pair of uh, shorts I've barely ever worn and a pair of joggers that are quite worn but like I say I just don't I won't wear them again the football tops is where it gets pretty mad so like this one here was that was just a fake anyway um, it does look quite real but like I say someone that gets that won't care if it's a fake or not fortunately um, and then this Barcelona top it's like 60 quid <laughs> it is just mental with the tops like like 60 quid it is a really nice top 
and again it's one of them I got really liked it so barely ever wore it and yeah never wore once like I wore it like two or three times maybe this one here I can honestly hand on heart say I wore like once it was like 40 quid so you look already like three tops in that back one even though it was fake was like 15 quid you're looking at about 115 pound three tops in some of them I have gotten a wear out of um, but again this one here was about I have wore this one quite a lot so I, I don't mind getting rid of this one but I think that was about 50 quid um, this one here was a really tough one to get rid of and I'm st oh, the more I'm looking at it now I don't think I will get I am actually going to keep this one because I really like it and yeah I'm keeping that one that can go in the gym drawer I will wear that one to the gym um, I've only wore this one once to be honest I didn't actually look at it and then I seen the sleeves but I really like that one so I am going to keep that now on the channel I've wore this one quite a lot the Germany World Cup one obviously horrendous World Cup for Germany um, with football tops as well, it's always funny because you don't really want to get rid of them either because, like, you never know about the values of them. The ones I'm throwing away at the minute, I don't think the value will, but this is the only one that I'm debating keeping, but only keeping for to, for the value and the, 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 like, the, it's always the home, like, the national team ones. But because Germany didn't do too well at this World Cup, I don't think it will go up in value. So I am going to actually give this one away and put that in the charity bag. And then we've just got two Arsenal tops that I bought at the end of the season. So I'm not really too fussed about giving away because I got them on, like, a really good discount. They're, like, I think they're, like, double XL or three XL? Double XL. They're, like, dra like really baggy on us. So it's that one there, just the home one of, I want to say, 1920 season. And then this one here was unreal when it first came out. But, yeah, I've got plenty of Arsenal tops. I'm sure I will survive the banana one. Honestly, in total here, I mean, although it was on discount, it was still 30 quid. That one was 30 quid, so 60. That one there was 60, so 120. That one there was 50 when I got it, so that's 170. This one here, I think I said was 40, 45-ish, so we're all 40. So you're looking at 210. This one here was 60, so you're looking at 270. You're looking at, if we, some of the prices are probably wrong. That one there was like 20. You're probably looking at maybe 300 pound worth of football tops just like getting thrown away. And it's just like, it is just like mental. Like when you think about football tops, how many you, you probably get bought as a kid when you're growing up. Wow, it's like so bright in here, isn't it? But, yeah, like, they were just cluttering up the the drawers, to be honest. So I'm happy enough to get rid of a lot of this stuff. And I always think it's useful to, like, if you're not wearing something, just, like I say, put, pop them in that ch them charity bags that get posted through your doors because it's so easy to do. It's it, It's so easy, like, to think you need something. But you just, like I say, how many Arsenal tops and football... Like, even though I've got rid of these, I still think... I have kept a few football tops, obviously. Like, the Arsenal ones, I have kept, like, a few of them. But it's just, like, these ones, I, I didn't wear them. And like I've said in other videos, I kind of want to just go to a place where... Um, I'm, like, wearing more just basic clothes and, like, an luminous yellow T-shirt. So... Yeah, that is that, and that is all the clothes going away. I might actually pile them back up and get it for the thumbnail, but apart from that, I'll probably catch us downstairs. Right, everyone, I've just started editing the vlog back through. It is 25, 20 to 9, basically, now. I'm absolutely knackered, proper ready for bed. So, I am going to get on with the dishes. There's not many to do with night watches praising the Lord, but I'm going to get on with the dishes, quickly edit the rest of the vlog. I've got a couple of questions to answer. Edit, yeah. Yeah, a couple of questions from the last video to answer. And then I'm going to literally edit that video and go to bed. So I'll catch you.
in a sec. Hey everyone, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, I have done the dishes, but unfortunately this is going to be the end of the video. I'm not going to um, answer any questions today. I'm going to just do them tomorrow. I'm just absolutely knackered and I still need a shower. It's 10 to 8, 10 to 9. I'm just, I'm beat for today. We didn't, we went to bed early-ish last night, but then we like did that cute little couple thing where we just stayed up all night and spoke about work. So <laughs> we, I'm just literally gonna edit this video quickly. I'm gonna take the laptop up so it renders and then I'm just gonna go to bed because I'm so tired. Katie's tired as well. She's all curled up on the sofa there and a little Udi after her shower. Um, oh, how was yoga today? You felt like you made a bit of pro progress today, didn't you? Yeah. You know, the, with the balance. Yeah, with that balance. So that's going well. Um, but yeah, we. I'm just gonna literally end the vlog now, guys. I am so sorry. I will answer them video. Uh, answer the questions tomorrow. See, my head is just all over. Um, be at the gym early tomorrow, which is always a good thing, so it means I get back normally about an hour earlier than like today. So today was half four, half five. I got back about twenty to uh, six. So I should realistically be back by like twenty to five from the gym if I leave straight from work. So it just makes it a lot easier to get things done and it not feel as much as a rush. So I hope you understand. I am sorry, but I will answer the questions tomorrow and I'll catch you tomorrow also. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you're not. Thanks. Catch us tomorrow.